Thank you. Oh, welcome to Nyapa's 8th anniversary and also Nigeria's 53rd uh, celebration of independence. Uh, today we're looking to really engage with the community and talk about what Nyapa is about, but also the broader picture of what Africa is trying to do. And the theme of our event is economic development and governance and the intersection of Africa and its diaspora. So as we're having these conversations, right, we've been talking for so many years. Yeah. What do you think that, you know, what, what do you think about us being eight years after so many years of having started new and now we're gelling as a family and we're growing? What do you want to say about uh, NIAF and how we've been this eight years? Uh, well, hold on for one second on the African TV network. We would like to know your position with the um, independent uh, celebration, this organization. What is your position? Okay, I'm the president of the Nigerian International Association, and my name is Ngazi Bell. Okay, now we can go and finish that question. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, my president. It has been a, a very interesting journey so far. Um, starting from, you know, just uh, uh, as a social gathering that metamorphosed into uh, a great organization of this All Glory Digital Garden for giving us the opportunity to organize ourselves and to steer it to this level. Uh, the theme of this year uh, event is so important because it addresses uh, those problems that we face in Africa, which is economic development and governance. Uh, we couldn't have chosen any other theme than that. And I believe as we continue to explore the ways to, 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 to you know, um, make economic uh, development uh, the, the center of activities of most of our government and uh, with the governance, which is very, very crucial. Uh, we hope we will be able to uh, affect, you know, uh, these two areas as the dialogue continues. Mm -hmm. okay. And what is your position? Uh, my name is, uh, my, I'm, I'm the, the uh, publicity secretary okay. of the organization. Okay. And, uh, the past uh, president of the organization. Okay. Yeah. And my name is Wale Dushan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were going to say? And my name, of course, is Ngazi Bell. And, uh, you know, as Wale was talking, I was thinking of, and so what becomes the role of us? We who are in diaspora, yeah. right? Uh, because we've gotten so much from the experiences that we brought from where we came from and the experiences that we've gained here. So we have such a great opportunity to be that glue that really enables the shaping of Africa because this is Africa's season. So I think we're very excited about the things we see and also knowing that the challenges are there and our lives have been like mm -hmm. challenges after challenges and being yeah. able to overcome it. So we have an opportunity to contribute some of that back. Hey, hey, believe me, I, I couldn't have uh, said it better than that because um, it is one thing for us as uh, Nigerian diaspora um, to come here, see the way things are done, acquire knowledge, experience see the way things are done, and you look at the way we struggled back home. I think one of the challenges we have back home is how do you, you know, integrate the people at home with the experiences that we have to make things better. Uh, until we find a way to match those together, that means the technocrat at home and those of us that are hands on here, that we have seen the way things are done. We, we, we have to find a way to do it in such a way that uh, we can collaborate together without, you know, scaring anybody away. Because the problem is that they look us as a threat. Yes. And we are not threat. We want to find a way to collaborate to make things better. Yes, that is the challenge that the challenge. those of us in diaspora face. Yes. So there you go. There you have it. That's the challenge and we're really up to it. So we're excited about today and to continue that dialogue. Thank you. Hello, welcome, sir. How you doing there? We want to welcome you to the Pennsylvania African TV Network. We would like to know your name and what some of the things that you're doing with this organization and what does this day mean to you? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Nigeria is, I believe, 68 years old and we're coming together to celebrate this event. 
and, and make it a wonderful day. And uh, we're all happy, uh, uh, Nigerians in America, and, and, and we had the opportunity here, and, and uh, we also thank God that we will go back home and, 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 and give the opportunity back. And uh, I'm so grateful that they gave me the opportunity to, to, to be part of this event. Not only the part of this event, to provide service for the NAFA organization. Thank you. Okay, well, what is your name? My name is Femi Akinleya. Okay, and we're glad that you're here. We're glad that you're tied up with this organization. And again, as I say, welcome to the Pennsylvania African TV Network. And we look forward to a wonderful, wonderful uh, night of events, food and entertainment. We know the mayor of Allentown, the mayor of Bethlehem is going to be here. I've been knowing you for a while now. I know you're a very, very sincere, sincere person and that you, you, do, you work very, very well with the African community, especially the Nigerian. God bless you and your family, and have a great day. Thank you very much. Hey, my name is Joseph Kwabe Swaberry from Ghana, Accra, original from Medina. I'm in Zima. I do African arts, I do painting, I do abstract. Um, if you want to see most of my works, you go to my website, www.artmajor.com slash Beswaberry. The Beswaberry is spelled B-E-S-O-A-B-E-W-I-E. -E. And what does day mean to you? It's very great day. Like seeing all Africans coming together with their traditional wear. It's this independence is a very great day for me. Okay, we're talking to Kevin Easterly here. Just to say who you are, Kevin, and I'm Kevin Easterling, the Executive Director of the Martin Luther and Credit Scott King Memorial in Allentown, Pennsylvania, founder of Lehigh Valley Black News Network. And I see you with your brother here. That's my brother, Robert Ivey. My name is Robert Ivey. I am the founder of Fairly Workforce Incorporated. Um, I'm here assisting my brother and supporting him and supporting my parents. It's a beautiful function, beautiful people. And I always like to be involved in something like that. Okay, it's always good to run into some educated brothers. I ran into your mom uh, one time, and I know she was educated too, so I can see how that paid off with her son. <laughs> okay, so how y'all like this event so far? Great, great, great. Uh, I'm not sure if you knew Clay, but as a part of the uh, Rotary International Group Study Exchange team, I actually was a member and I traveled to Nigeria, stayed there for about about a month and a half traveling up and down the country learning about its infrastructure and so I have a lot of good friends in the Nigerian community. Wally Sumu is our former board of the Martin Luther King Memorial. Okay. And Gozi Bell. And so uh, we like my extended family. Okay. And how are you doing it my brother? Well, so far for me uh, my, my experience with Nigerians has been beautiful. It's a beautiful event. Uh, there's a lot of uh, diversity and uh, what they're trying to do here in uh, Allentown in the Lehigh Valley area. One of my first clients for my business was the Nigerian team of Salah. Uh, we successfully have um, put some things together and we'll be going to court soon. Um, I think that this is a wonderful thing. Uh, they have uh, the wherewithal and the infrastructure within their own group to put something like this together and bring uh, you know, some of the more active political people together, such as my brother, and then the fact that the man is going to be here is also a good look. So, you know, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy uh, being around uh, people from the homeland, from the motherland, so to speak. All right, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, my name is Rick Williams and I'm with Solutions Net Management. 
And what we do, we actually do um, consult. We consult with different uh, groups. We do energy procurement, anything from solar energy to um, for, uh, infrastructure. Um, I work with various engineers and architectures throughout the Lehigh Valley and the Pennsylvania area to do to pretty much what we're doing is a new development. Um, I'm here at the um, annual um, Nigerian uh, Independent celebration. Independent celebration, which is nice. It's really nice and um, some beautiful people. We've met some beautiful people. I uh, didn't realize I knew a lot of the people that I actually see here. Uh, a lot of them I see here, I've ran into and done a little business with in, in the past. And it's a beautiful thing. They have a beautiful function. I think they have a beautiful organization. Um, and their networking is really strong. And I'm looking forward to going doing some future um, business, business and contracts with them. Okay, thank you very much and welcome to the Pennsylvania African TV Network. Also, welcome to the Nigerian Independence Day celebration. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is uh, Bernard Tieno Benbo. That's the way you know me in the Kenyan community in the Lehigh Valley. Well, what does they mean to you, Mr. Benbo? The KCNE means a lot to us Kenyans and other people from Africa in the Lehigh Valley because we bring all the community together and we achieve what we want to achieve as a teamwork. That's why we are all together and we say when we are together we are strong. Does that mean that the Nigerians and the Kenyans, do they have any projects? Are they working together? Because it's a big Kenyan community. Also, it's a big Nigerian community and Ghana. But have you did any uh, business with the Nigerian community? Yeah, today is the first day that uh, we are going to have a talk with the Nigerian community to see if they can link up with the Kenyan community and see what we can achieve together as one people in African unity. So today is our first day to come here and we'll talk to them and then we'll come up with the focus we want to follow with them and we'll come up with an argument and the status that we want to do. Thank you very much and welcome to the Pennsylvania African TV Network. Thank you and thanks for having me. Well, well, this is a man who doesn't need any introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. This is Solomon Tembo. I call him the president of the African community of the Lehigh Valley. That's all the Africans. Mr. Tembo, what do you think about the independent celebration of the Nigerian community? I think it brings the whole people together. You know, all the African countries, we are one, whether you're Nigerian, Ghanaian, Zimbabwean, South African, or whatever country you are in Africa, we all one. And every country, like the other, my, my, my brother said, we all have independence. So coming to represent Nigeria here, we come in with Zimbabweans, we come with Kenyans, we come here as a family, and we're representing ourselves as one Africa. Well, we want to thank you for being a guest and being at this celebration, uh, the Pennsylvania African TV Network. Uh, and you're here at this uh, event, the Nigerian uh, Independent Celebration. Do you ever think that the Nigerians can work with the community so we can have the first Lehigh Valley uh, African Day Parade? Thank you. We were looking at working with Nigerians as much as we're looking working with Zimbabweans. We're also looking working with any other country in Africa. Let's unite everybody and bring everybody together and we can solve all the issues in Africa and all the problems we have as Africans but not as Zimbabweans, or not as Ghanaians, or as Nigerians. Thank you very much, and have a good day, sir. Thank you, Mr. Clay. Mm -hmm.
Good evening, sir, and welcome to the Pennsylvania African TV Network. Could you tell us who you are, sir? Yeah, my name is uh, Francis Mawindi, and I'm from Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. and I'm happy to be here. Okay, well, what does this day mean to you being at the Independent Nigerian Celebration, sir? Uh, I think it's good uh, to be associated with fellow Africans. And I think uh, celebrating independence is something that is obviously, you know, topical within the whole African community. We in Zimbabwe, we also celebrate independence as much as the Nigerians are celebrating it. So for us, I think it is a milestone for us to be celebrating independence, you know, from, uh, you know, from, from the past. And uh, I think uh, it's time for Africans to unite and uh, crystallize relationships and uh, be able to, you know, to come together <coughs> and uh, come up with uh, concrete plans for the continent. Okay, could you tell us um, your profession and some of the things that you're doing in the Lehigh Valley? Well, I'm, um, I'm a, my telecommunications background and uh, I've been involved uh, extensively in, uh, in, uh, both in the telecommunication projects both here in the United States as well as uh, in Africa, specifically in Zimbabwe and in the Southern African region. And, uh, you know, we involved in um, wireless communication, you know, projects. And I do believe that, I mean, as Africans, the, uh, you know, the space for African, you know, investment is quite huge. And uh, I think everybody has an appetite for Africa right now, from Europe, from America, from Asia, and so forth, because, I mean, Africa is ready for business. Okay, well, thank you very much, and welcome to the Pennsylvania African TV Network, and we hope you enjoy the Nigerian Independence Day celebration. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.